it's very easy. And that's one of the things that I love about this sport is that anyone can do it, irrespective of their age or their physical ability. Um, we have kayaks uh, that everyone can enjoy, irrespective of their skill level. With a few minutes of basic instruction, everyone can experience a, a, a high degree of success in, in kayaking. The best way to start is with a friend who has the ability to share basic technique and, and offer some instruction, or with a certified instructor. And, and the best environment is a controlled environment. And typically a lake or a pond is a great place to start to develop basic skill levels. And from there, you can venture out into more open or more challenging bodies of water. Well, women should definitely get involved in kayaking because we actually have an advantage. Our center of gravity is lower uh, in our hips, so we actually have the advantage of more balance and a lower center of gravity. So you'll often hear people um, explain at roll sessions and such that women kind of catch it a little quicker, they, they get the sport a little faster, and it's very dynamic as far as the edging and the control. So women do very well at, at kayaking, um, but anybody can do it. Um, it's just a matter of having a boat and the gear, and once you have that initial expense, everything's free. You can go wherever you'd like, and it's just you and your boat. The, the opportunities for, for paddle sports in South Carolina are endless, and the, the variety of waterways are just tremendous. For the coastal area, the, the Edisto River is just fantastic. It's a beautiful waterway, uh, so many opportunities to see wildlife, and to, to really experience uh, uh, solitude, uh, if that's what you're seeking. Um, it's uh, a great opportunity to uh, experience uh, nature in that co coastal environment. Uh, as you go a little further into the state, if you go to the mid part of the state, the, the Congaree Swamp is one of my favorite destinations. It has the, the largest lowland hardwood forest in the country, and wildlife abounds. Uh, one of the great things that I love about that area is the, the barred owls. When you go in it in the evening, the barred owls start calling out. It's just, it's beautiful. I've seen wild boar there. I've seen uh, just countless number of birds. Uh, it's, it's home to bobcats and just all kinds of amazing wildlife. You, then if you're inclined to uh, take on the challenge of whitewater, we have some of the best in the country, uh, the Chattooga River that borders South Carolina and Georgia is a classic. It was a designated uh, Wild and Scenic River back in the 70s, and uh, it deserves that designation. It's really a special place. Well, at Confluence Water Sports, we make all different types of kayaks and canoes, everything from recreational boats that you can take out on flat water to sea kayaks that you would take in the coastal waterways to white water kayaks that are made all the way up to class five. My personal favorite type of kayaking is um, whitewater because it's very adventurous and it's a team sport so you're really bonding with the, the people on the river with you and looking out for them and they're looking out for you. I think there's a, a certain point um, when you're on the water that you, you really um, you lose the everyday voice maybe in your head telling you what to to do and you're really just at one with the water and you feel that rhythm and you just kind of lose yourself in kayaking and I think that's the thing that brings me back to it again and again. There's a, an element of adventure, there's a fitness opportunity, there is uh, the opportunity to rejuvenate and uh, sort of restore uh, your, your energy just by the solitude and the rhythmic quality of uh, paddling. 